Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that member B is subjected to a compressive force of 800 pound. If A and B are both made of wood and 3.8 inch thick, determine to the nearest 1 divided by 4 inch the smallest dimension H of the horizontal segment so that it does not fail in shear. The average shear stress for the segment is 300 psi. So we are given that this member B is subjected to a compressive load of 800 pound which is making some angle theta here and that theta is given in the shape of this right angle triangle. So we are required to find the height H if this member A does not fail due to the shear stress and the allowable shear stress is 300 psi and the thickness of both A and B is 3 by 8 inch. So into the screen both of these members are eight, uh, 3 divided by 8 inch thick. So we can say that um, if we consider this uh, A member of the mechanism then this compressive load of 800 pound force is applied at this particular point. So it will have two components. This one will be the cos component and this one will be the sine component if 800 pound force is making angle theta here. So if this one is the cos component then from this right angle triangle the cos of theta will be if this is if this is the angle theta if this is angle theta then cos of theta will be the base divided by hypotenuse. So this is 12 divided by 13. And similarly, this component will be the sine component. So the sine component will be 5 divided by 13. So 800 into 5 divided by 13 is the sine component and this is the cost component. So since we want to find um, this height for in order to uh, keep this member safe uh, from the shear stress. So we, we must find this height H. So for that we can say uh, first of all we have to pass a cutting section here. So if we pass a cutting section here then um, we will have we will consider this side of the cutting section. So then the free body diagram will look like this. We will have a diagram like this and we will have the sine component acting like this. This one will be 805 divided by 13 pounds. We will have the cost component here this one will be 800 into 12 divided by 13 pounds and here since this area is exposed we will have the shear force acting vertically upward so this one will be the shear force and we will have the normal force here as well so this one will be the normal force so now considering this free body diagram if we apply the sum of the forces in the y since we are interested in the shear force so we want to find uh, if we, we want to apply the sum of the force in the y, so that must be equal to 0, upward direction is considered to be positive. Now that shear force is acting in the upward direction, that is positive, and this sine component is acting in the downward direction, so it is negative. So we will say the sh uh, V minus 800 into 5 divided by 13, this is equal to 0, and the shear force is equal to 805 divided by 13. Now we are given that the allowable shear stress in member A is 300 psi. So we can say that T allowable is equal to V divided by the area exposed. So this is that area which is exposed. So the area will be this height which we, which we want to find. We can say this height H. multiply by the thickness. So the thickness is into the screen. So we can say this will be the thickness. So we can say that this we this will be height multiplied by thickness and this is equal to 300 psi. So psi is pound per inch square. So now we want to find h so we can rearrange all this equation and we know t as well the thickness and v is 800 into 5 divided by 13 height is unknown and t is from here t is 3 divided by 8 inches and this is equal to 300 pound per inch square 
So this is in pounds and this is in inches. So now we can say if 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 I multiply both sides of equation with h, so we will have So this will cancel out and the equation will look like this. And then if we divide both sides by 300 pound per inch square, then we will have h. So if we divide both sides of equation by 300. So this will cancel out and we will be left with that height h which is required. So we can say this is h. Now you guys can see that this uh, pound will cancel out with this pound and one inch will cancel out with one inches and we will be left with the units of one by inch here. So we can say that h will be equal to 800 into 5 divided by 13 and 300 into 3 divided by 8 and here we have 1 divided by inch. So now let's find this. This is 800 multiplied by 5 divided by 13 divided by 300 into 3 divided by 8 so this gives us um, this h equals to 320 divided by 117 and the units will be in inches. This is one the this one divided by inch square. So in the numerator, it will become inch. So we can say this is inches, and this is equal to two point seven three five, or we can say it is approximately two point seven four inches. Now the problem statement says that we must find the h um, determine the to the nearest one divided by four inch. So 1 divided by 4 is basically 0 0.25. 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25. So the height h should be in terms of, uh, to the nearest to, uh, 0.25. So this is 2.74. So the nearest 0.25 is, we can say, 2.75. So we can say that this h must be equal to 2.75 inches. And we can say that 2.75 is basically 11 divided by 4 or if we write this in mixed ratio then this will be 2 into 3 divided by 4 inches so the height in order to in order to make sure that this uh, member a uh, must not fail due to the shear stress this h must be equals to 2 into 3 divided by 4 inches if this member B is subjected to 800 pound force of um, 800 pound of compressive force. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.